Well, how are you doing, chat? Oh boy, we're back on YouTube. Oh, let me get rid of, let me get rid of the copy pasta. Don't you dare, don't you dare post that on certain websites. You're gonna face a little bit of a punishment if you do. Not allowed to say that. Those are, those are forbidden things. Matches well with the motif of the Forbidden City. If you know what I'm saying. Oh boy, I've been lemon genes or genocided today. It's a fucking tragic tale, really terrible things. But before I started the stream, a little bit of news. Hot breaking news here at first here on my live stream. I don't know if you're ready. Hold on to your hats, folks. Mumkey Jones. Our boy Mumkey. Mumkey the Minuteman Jones. Had his sex tape leak on the internet. If you want to see what Mumkey Jones looks like when he's busting his nut, all 45 seconds of glorious hardcore fucking is up on Kiwi Farms right now. Not sure who leaked that sex tape. Not sure why you'd want to watch Monkey Jones fucking somebody. But if you got under a minute to spare, that videotape's waiting for you. I could narrate it, but I don't know the age of the girl involved, and I'm not going to watch it. No, thank you, FBI. You're not going to trick me. I know what's going on. I know your shenanigans, your trickery. You can't fool me. 40. Why would you do that? Can I ask that? Why? What the fuck is the matter with YouTubers? How narcissistic and egocentric have you become that you think we want to watch a sex tape of you? Has nobody learned from Pro Jared? Nobody's interested in your dick. <laughs> you make funny videos on YouTube. I like having a chuckle. I enjoy it. It's laughable. It's good stuff. But when I uh, thumbs up a video, when I subscribe and favorite, when I go drop a few dollars on that Patreon, what I'm not hoping for is a throbbing cock put in my face. I'd like a little bit of humor. A little bit of goofy shenanigans, maybe. Not looking for a monkey erection. Just wiggling about. Now, I, it, you know, there there's some aspects of sex tapes. Let me, let me just say it like this, actually. That really separate the amateur from the auteur. From the professional. From the person that's really grounded on how to create pornographic content for your consumption. A lot of people like to get fancy with it. Set up a couple of cameras, get some angles going. You want to have a nice a nice distance between you and the subjects. Frame it well. Get everything set up. You know, switch around a little bit. Get some get some angles and some close-ups. You know, be fancy about it. And then there's the dude that holds his fucking 1980s Casio fucking camcorder in one hand. And instead of looking at the chick he's fucking, just looks at the camcorder. Who Who does that? Who films himself having sex and looks directly into the camera? You're not even looking at who you're fucking. You're looking at the camera. You're watching yourself in the viewfinder. You are you are quite literally ejaculating to yourself, Mumkey. What in the fuck? Put that up on the internet. The kids are going to love it. Oh, they love they love a good celebrity sex tape. I'm sorry, e-celebrity sex tape. You got to learn, boys. What are you doing? It will come back to haunt you. Don't trust anyone. Don't ever, ever record yourself doing something stupid. It's going to come out eventually. You're never going to be able to hide that shit. And if you take pictures of your genitalia, or your genitalia being played with, well, that's a dark day for you, because somewhere along the line, maybe it's going to be a month, a year, ten years, you never know. But eventually, inevitably, it's going to end up on the Internet, and people are going to start judging you for it. So if you were shy before, if you are a bit introverted before, how are you going to feel when you've got 10,000 people critiquing your thrusting technique? Well, I don't know. Artistically, this is an okay shot pornographic film, but this gentleman, his testicles aren't slapping against her hard enough. I really don't think he put effort into it. What do you think, Siskel? Well, I don't know, Ebert. I'm going to say that he half-assed this. His heart's not really into it. I don't think he read the script before filming this. Shameful. Mumpkey, my God. Are you, are, it's almost, you know, I'm almost convinced at this point that Monkey Jones is intentionally putting this shit out himself just to, give him a, just to give himself a reason to kill himself. I can't think of any, how does this keep happening? How does all this embarrassing shit keep coming up? How is it fucking humanly possible? These people are broken up. I don't even know why they're talking to each other. It's like every goddamn week. Some fucking stream with the fur fag chick talking about it, or him talking about it, or the 15-year-old that cucked him talking about it. Now we got sex tapes. 
I don't know. I'm going to have to pull chat. You tell me. Do you want to get mounted by a monkey, chat? Is that, uh, is that erotic to you? Do you like those? Vi I have, oh, my God, my favorite Easter lab. Now I get to see what his penis looks like. Oh, it's my fantasy come true. Show me your ding dong. Is that a dream come true for you? <laughs> Are you liking it, chat? Minute man monkey. Yeah, no, uh, 44. I, I couldn't think of anything clever that rhymed with 45 seconds. So I just went with, I went with minute man. I don't know. I'm going to have to, like, assemble a list of the top ones that I want to see get their fuck on. Boogie's got to be at the top there. I want to see that dude grit his chiclet teeth so hard he fucking shatters him like, <laughs> like sugar candy. I just, I want to see, I want to see the veins pulsating on his face and his head. I want to see his gunt flopping around like fucking vicious waves on an ocean where a storm is about to capsize a ship. Just see the tit sweat flopping everywhere as he's just doing the Francis voice talking about how deep he's going to go. <laughs> That's number one on the list. Number two, low tier God. All right, that dude was running around talking about his rhino dick. I want to see if he quits fucking like he quits Street Fighter. Uh, I was pressing buttons, but this bitch won't come. I give up. Walking away. I have a feeling it's uh, it's not a fun time in the low tier God's bedroom. That's all I'm saying. Who comes after that on the list? I don't know. I'm not really interested, I guess. If you give me Boogie and you give me low tier God, where do I go from there? Who Who's going to round out that list for number three? <sighs> who would I put at number three? I don't even know. Really, it's a, it's a fucking mystery to me. Nonetheless, Mumkey Tape is out there. Uh, I'm sure you'll see it circulating. I feel bad for him. I, it's just an uncomfortable thing to have the internet watch, and now everybody's going to see it. You at your most intimate and vulnerable moment, but you can't really say you didn't see it coming when you film yourself with that fucking camcorder and look directly into it. Oh, God, yeah. A Mumkey Jones. Look at me. Look at this camera. This bitch loves it. Are you going to upload that on an alternate channel? Your backup? I think YouTube's probably going to flag that one. Unless you got like an exclusivity deal with Pornhub. Mumkey, you got to use my technique. Audio only. And then you tell them it's yoga. <laughs> and you get away with it. There's no visual evidence for people to get confused about. Just a little life advice from me. Oh, chat, there's been so many interesting things happening lately. You know, for the last two months, I've been over at DLive doing morning streams three times a week. Finally getting into my groove, man. I miss Stream Me. It's a place I'd like to do shows and shit, and then the site goes under. I can't even tell you why. I don't know why it went under. There's 48 fucking stories surrounding why that site went under. I don't know which one's the actual truth. What is the factual accounting for why it went down? All I know is I thought DLive would be a good alternative. They signed some exclusivity deal with PewDiePie. He's coming over there. He's bringing in fifty to 100,000 people. I thought, okay. I go over here. I put the X tag on. People leave me the fuck alone. Talk about whatever the fuck we want to talk about in the morning. Getting into a rhythm. Enjoying myself. That is until today. That is until today when some shenanigans happened with the Lemon Emperor. He's in the middle of a stream talking about a man by the name of Blade. I think it is. I'm not 100% certain. It's an Ice Poseidon Orbiter. He uh, filmed himself on an RV trip. Allegedly, potentially, these are all in air quotes. I'm just quoting the video that was recounting his tale. Uh, date raping a chick. Not very good idea, really, to get drunk on stream on an RV trip and then go try to molest somebody who's unconscious. But we're watching that video. No sex, no nudity. Just merely a recounting of what happened on the live stream. And then all of a sudden, stream goes down. Boom, dead. Now, not even a kiss goodbye. Fucking Chinese. Won't even give me a kiss goodbye. What are you doing? Just kick my ass right to the door. Fucking horrible, really. I feel like a slut. I feel used up, thrown aside like a dirty fucking condom or something. I don't know what to tell you. Get my channel banned. Laughing at a rapist. That's a weird thing to co-sign if you're a new platform. Got my channel banned for laughing at a fucking rapist. I guess apparently that's the line too far. He can talk about Epstein and his egg-shaped penis. Talk about some chick fucking a cat. But I can't laugh at a rapist. Apparently that's a, that's a forbidden. It's a uh, verboten on DLive. Fast forward about a half an hour, 45 minutes later, after an enormous amount of people apparently gave DLive a lot of shit, channel gets reinstated. 
and then I get a little, I get screen caps of messages saying, oh, you need to get a hold of the DLive administration team so you can talk about streaming again on their platform. No, thank you. I don't, uh, I think I'm going to have to pass that offer up. See, there's a, something called sunk cost and opportunity cost. You as a streamer go to a new platform and you invest time, slowly building up a little audience. You carve out your little niche. You have some fun in the mornings, laughing at goofy shit, talking about weird shit, having a good time. Then some fuck comes along and just sinks it. No explanation, no reasoning, no warning, just gone dead. Fucking sunk in the water. And that's what happened to my DLive channel. So why would I risk coming back? Here's what I think happened. Here's what I think the honest story about why my channel was restored. Because when I started talking about why I got banned on DLive, suddenly DLive wanted to reinstate my channel. Because maybe it doesn't look so good when you ban somebody for mocking a rapist. Maybe that doesn't come off so well when you're a platform that talks about inclusivity and involving the community to suddenly start removing people that laugh at potential sex offenders. My idea here is that they remove my channel and then reinstated it to avoid any blowback and will simply wait a week or two until this is all passed and then ban me again for a different reason with no outrage. I'm not going to give them the chance. I'm not going to bend over and take a Chinese cock up my ass. No, thank you. I think I'm going to have to pass on that fucking offer. Now, I like DLive. I mean, I, I like DLive for the same reason I like Streamy. Dancing puddings. There are no dancing puddings over here. You got emoticons. You don't have any gifts. You don't got any little jubbly bowls of jelly dancing in the fucking comment section. Nothing in that chat. That's what I liked. And I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss my little lemons, my little Chinese lemons that the Lemon Emperor gifted me. But I'm not going to go to a platform that's going to just ban people for no reason. I abided by those fucking rules. I put the X tag on to keep myself off the front page and to talk about big boy things. You know, shit adults like to laugh at. Made sure that I didn't go after any of their other streamers. Just talked about shit that happened off-site. It was a fairly good little morning show. It was enjoyable. And I still got nailed. For no goddamn reason. For no conceivably good reason. I got my shit kicked in. And I'm not going to crawl back. Can somebody explain to me why it is when you get banned from a platform, they want you to go to Discord? Hey, I read about Discord in the New York Times. They say that's where all those white nationalists hang out. I don't want to mess with the alt-right. That scares me. Sorry, DLive. I'm not going to go to your neo-Nazi social media chain. <laughs> I, I don't roll like that. We're progressive up in here, okay? Liberal values. It's her turn. All right, DLive? Not touching Discord. I've read the articles. I know what goes on on there. Probably want me to go to Charlottesville with you and hit a fat chick with our car. Not going to happen. I'm going to have to reject you on that offer. Uh-uh. You sign up for this website. You use an email to do it. And they don't get a hold of you. They want you to email them. Well, I used an email to sign up. You can simply email me and say, this is why you were banned. I don't know why I was banned. There's no official reason given. If you're looking in chat right now at the amount of shit flying by, imagine it being about four times as fast because giant GIFs are taking up the spot of text. How are you supposed to read a message from any administrator or admin or moderator that shows up into your chat to say they have a problem with something? When it's zooming by, there's no way you're going to see it. Somebody said, oh, they, they were talking in your chat, Jim. They asked you to do something. How the fuck am I going to see that? I'm not even looking at chat first off because we're watching a video. Secondly, even if I was, I would have missed it. It was going by too quick. And, you know, I thought YouTube was bad. I thought YouTube was bad with how they ran themselves. But at least this place gives you a warning. And then you got three strikes. DLive, there is none of that. You're just gone. You're fucking dust. When they want you gone, you're gone. And I tried to integrate myself into that little community. I watched other D-livers late at night. Donated some lemons here and there for the fuck of it. I just generally trying to create a comfy little atmosphere to enjoy myself. But no. Not in this day and age. Not, not in the internet that we live in. You can't go anywhere and say anything anymore. Everything has been fucking cleansed. Oh, you want to go on Twitter and tell a racy joke? Banned. Oh, you want to say something funny on Facebook? Banned. You got a good idea for a video on YouTube? Banned. You want to talk about something on DLive? Banned. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Our options are quickly diminishing as everybody waits for fucking BitChute to implement live streaming. 
I don't know how long that's going to take. All I've seen is InfoWars over there doing it. Nobody else. And all I was going to do was just make a few jokes about a stupid video. Now, there are a few theories about what's going on here. And I couldn't tell you exactly what the correct one is because, again, I have no information. They told me nothing when it came to why the Chinese emperor, the Lemon Emperor, decided to ban my ass. It could be because we were making fun of a rapist. Or, yeah, another possibility, we were going to be discussing. Uh, let me make sure. I, I know I've got that picture somewhere. I think this is it. We were going to be discussing Hong Kong. Now, it's no secret that DLive was founded by Turkish people and that they got foreign investment from uh, multimillionaires in China. And there's been a rumor that if you say certain things that are anti-Chinese or anti-Chinese uh, government, or you express any uh, goodwill towards Taiwan, or you say anything good about Hong Kong being independent, you're going to get shit kicked. And right after that video, we were going to be talking about Hong Kong. So I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what the exact reason is for why we got booted. All I know is <sighs> DLive is, D -Live is dead to me. Oh, sad, sad day. No more lemons for Jim. No more, no more morning streams over there. It's got me all fucked up. It's got me all fucked up. And luckily, my mood got lifted a little bit by <laughs> Mumpke Jones having a sex tape leak. Because at least that fucking ain't me. I may have got banned on DLive. But at least I don't have a sex tape floating around there that's less than a minute long. So thank God for small miracles. Mistakes into miracles, folks. It's how you get by. It's how you survive. Oh, I've missed you, YouTube. I do like streaming over here. It's just, I'm always worried that we'll never have the freedom to really laugh at shit we want to laugh at. That's why you got to go to other sites. Streamy was good for facilitating that. DLive, for a while, worked well to facilitate that. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know where we're going to go. I don't know what we're going to do. Everybody's just going to be walking around like a fucking robot acting like they have no racy opinions, no raunchy jokes, no bad words for one another because they're fucking terrified they're going to get banned. What a shitty year. I have no faith. No faith that that's going to be fixed. I know a lot of people say, oh, Donald Trump, what about the social media summit? <laughs> you got as much luck as uh, Donald Trump fixing the internet as you do of him building that wall. I'm going to be honest with you. In fact, he was inviting tech companies to help uh, the FBI gather information and lead to arrests of anybody that might say extremist things on the internet to prevent any more El Pasos or Daytons. That's the last thing I want. The last thing I want is Google and Facebook working with the fucking FBI. What a horrifying fucking thought that is. Oh, it's nightmarish. But we're not going to do a black pill stream. We're going to talk and laugh a little bit. I don't know. We'll, we'll find something. Maybe we'll go back into that rape video. And do the follow-up video because I don't think YouTube really cares. The video, the original one, is up on YouTube. I mean, we never got to see the end of it. We never got to see where it went or what happened. I can just start that bit from the beginning again. Fuck it. Right, you tell me, chat. Where do we go with this? I feel, I feel like, what is that Madonna sound? Like a virgin. Oh, I'm back on YouTube for the very first time. Oh, treat me right. Hopefully I last longer than a minute. Oh, yeah, and we did talk about Epstein over there a lot. But why could you not? A billionaire pedophile cult with connections to the most powerful men in the world, run by a man with a tiny cock that looks like an egg, who went to prison, had his cellmate moved, was taken off suicide watch, cameras malfunctioned, guards fell asleep, and his will was redone two days prior, hangs himself by doing a backflip off the bottom bunk, and breaks his fucking neck. <laughs> Come on. You couldn't write something goofier if Hollywood tried. I'm supposed to believe that was a suicide. Sure thing, wink, wink. Boy, you can tell it's fucking Zoomers in the uh, secret assassin squad in the CIA these days. At least the Kennedy shit was believable. You fuckers now, you're not even putting in the effort anymore. You might, you might as well have just used the barbell. Fuck it. Hey, live with the meme. Embrace it. Make it a reality. What are we playing pretend for here? <sighs> Shit. It's terrible. It's depressing. It's sad. But I've got some non-lemon chats. Actual U.S. dollars, not Lino's.
Not lemons, not Chinese bananas, but fucking dollars. Let me read some of these. Trump Nation, the Bitwave admin, said he can handle the high bandwidth of your audience would use. No power drunk mods, just plain and simple free speech, plus emotes. You don't even need to use a real email to, or email to sign up for a channel. Just ask for a stream key. I don't know, maybe the day will come when that is the choice that I'm left with. I don't know. It's hard to want to put the effort into making a consistent show or to doing a new video series because the way things are right now, shit's just going to get ripped down immediately. It's either you make it cookie cutter clean or it gets yanked down. You can't watch Murdoch Murdoch on YouTube because it's not allowed anymore. And you've got to go through fucking hoops. You've got to jump through shit to go watch it. Who was the most recent one that got banned? Soph? Some fucking 14-year-old that, that talks about SJWs. I have no idea what she did to piss them off, but she's gone. People getting bumped off left and right. Mario Carter 13, Epstein's last words were, Super Hulak sucks. Unbelievable. Carl Skidmark's gem. I think it's time to get to bitwave.tv. From Rand Wolf, I sold my soul to DLive for laughs with my favorite man-child. Shameful. Here are Canuck Schmeckles for your plumbing. Unclogging solvent. Mario Carter 13 again. Jim Mug Colors. White freshly blacked. You know I do love my blacking. From Medicors, or Medicor, or <laughs> Jesus, Medicors, a Lunicorn Archives. DLive actually said they have stricter TOS than uh, YouTube and said they're proud of it too. Platforming's heading to an early grave. Well, of course it is. There's nowhere you can go anymore. And I, this isn't something that's just affecting shit posters or people that like to make racy jokes. At this point, if you don't use the proper language, you're fucked. <clears throat> I'll give you a good example of this. Uh, it, it's happening everywhere, essentially. Even in private conversations, if you look at the Iron Fury devs, they're in their fucking Discord talking about how crazy it is for uh, tra or for parents to decide their kid's transsexual at birth. Uh, you decide, just decide that your baby's going to be transsexual. One of the devs said, that's crazy. These people are nuts. And now look at them. They have to get on their knees and suck dick. And beg for apology. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, what was I thinking? Woe is me. I'm so sorry. Here's $10,000 for a bullshit charity. We're going to fire people you don't like. We're going to remove content that upsets you. We're going to apologize to your face because you don't like what we said. We expressed an opinion you dislike, Reset Era. Crazy cat lady forum. You just didn't like it. And of course, it's not good enough. Why would it be? Why would it be good enough? No, they're still upset. They want more. They want more people fired. They want more shit done to them. And I know that's a dev. You might think that's a different situation. It's not. It's fucking everywhere. I want to watch me some Mandar. You know, David Stay does his own show. I, I fear for him. Like, I don't know how he's going to continue doing his show on YouTube, on DLive, wherever the fuck he does it. He likes to talk about goofy shit. He's a fun guy. But the things he says, they don't like. It's like any new show, any new content that you come across that you think is good, it's just going to get wiped the fuck out. It's uh, it's annoying. Hurry up and wait. Where did you leave off? Oh, right. Blade the Cuck trying to felch Bjorn swimmers out of the freshly plowed, sloppy, drunk she-whale. Screw D-Live. Oh, screw D-Live indeed. Sean Turner. Jim, you flew too close to the sun. Buying Ion Storm. Medicare's Lunicorn Archives. Lemon Emperor got afraid and restored your D-Live channel. If you ever decide to return, make sure to unmute everyone who got muted by the gay mod. Yeah, I hear that after I was banned, they muted or banned, or I don't know what they did, but they fucked with a bunch of people there that were upset. I, You know, what What do you want? I don't understand what DLive wants. As a business, right, you want more people to come to your platform and to stream and to watch streams and to buy your proprietary currency Leno points. Right? I mean, that's what you're looking for. You want it to get big. Isn't that it? So you, you contract out to PewDiePie and come out with an exclusivity deal for him to stream there. He gets paid a shit ton of money to show up and do it. And when he streams, 50 to 100,000 people watch. That's awesome, right? You think, oh, fuck, we made it. But the problem is, they're there to watch PewDiePie. And after he's done streaming, they don't go to other streams. They leave. If you go to DLive when PewDiePie streams and wait for him to leave, you'll see the count go from 50 to 100,000 to zero pretty fucking quick. So the only way you can really build that platform up is letting other streamers build an audience. But if you're going to start banning people because you don't like their humor or you don't like the content they cover, you're never going to grow. 
you're always going to have a front page that is full of streams that have 100 people watching and nothing more. That's it. So it seems counterintuitive to be on the warpath to go after people, especially those that are using the X-rated tag, and to remove them from the website. Seems fucking bizarre to me. But I guess I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not smart like those Chinese are. So what the fuck do I know? Hurry up and wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Sean, oh, God, I'm, I'm falling behind here. Old man's getting confused, screaming at the clouds. Trump Nation again, Bitwave, or bitwave.tv will set you free. It has dancing puddings. From some guy, Boogie1488, 1889 to 1945, taken too soon. From the crack den. Thanks, Jim, for helping me laugh at things that used to make me angry, my fellow potato nibber. It's better to laugh at the clowns and sit in misery. I agree, I like to laugh at goofy shit. It's just a pity that you can't really do it anywhere anymore. From Moderator Marcy, Jim, so happy you're back on YouTube. I'm guessing the Lemon Emperor does not take or like the hot takes. Oh, you would be fucking correct. He does not like my hot takes. He's very anti-hot takes from Skeleton. So, Jimbo, I know how much you love to annoy chat with great and prolific rap tracks. I think I got one you'll enjoy. Bussy Gang by Decooters. Enjoy chat. Oh, well, we'll take a look at that. I'll read a few more of these, and you know what? Maybe we'll look at the Blade stuff. Why not jump into it? Fuck it, right? Why not? What's holding us back, chat? Uh, I'll give you a, We'll just start from the beginning. D-Live cut us off in the middle? Fuck them. We're going to watch it on YouTube. We're going to continue where they cut us off. And you're going to see what we were talking about. Uh, you know, I guess that's the third possibility. Maybe I can't put it all completely on D-Live. Either they didn't like the Hong Kong stuff coming up. They didn't like me making fun of a alleged date rapist. Or the guy the video was about flagged the shit out of the channel because he got upset about it. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. But either way, fuck it. We're going to continue on. And we're going to watch the Blade video from the beginning. You're going to find out about Bjorn. You're going to find out about uh, Mr. Diabetes Legs, who's uh, going to have an amputation from the gangrene because he drinks too much. We'll just roll right through it. What the fuck? So let me read a few more of these and we'll get into it. From Dead Butterfly Wings, the apocalypse is upon us. You can repent your sins or get your demons exercised by contacting me for spiritual services. You do good work, Jim. Hallelujah. From 11, 36, 57, is this the place for the lemon party? There's always a good time for a lemon party, and you don't need a place. Uh, every place is the place for the lemon party. Electric Boogaloo V2, Bitwave.tv, no long nose tribe allowed. From Baron Von Ungren, Sternberg, Jim, question, does D uh, does H. Bomber guy have dirt on you from the Medicare days? It seems like you always avoid talking about him whenever he's mentioned. I've talked about H. Bomber guy, fuck, uh, multiple times. I've talked about him in a video on Deviance. I've talked about him on Twitter, and I've talked about him on stream. I don't really avoid the guy. I can get, there's not much to tell you. I know people want me to give you some dark secret, like H. Bomber guy was the world's worst troll who drove, you know, drove kids to suicide and shit. But he really didn't. He was friends with Haberman, the guy that ran the site. And so he hung out a little bit. So he wrote a few uh, deviant or articles about deviant art, and that's about it. He wasn't, there's, you know, there's not a lot there. We didn't really interact that much. And he wasn't really on the site that much. From uh, Robert McClincy, Monkey, J or Monkey Jones Wing Bang Wahoo Tape on Kiwi Farms. From uh, Kwai Gon Jin. Es ist zet Firash. We're Musen Dijuden Asraten. And he probably got me banned with that one, but thankfully I don't speak German, so I'm going to guess he's giving a well wishing to Israel. I think that's what that means. From Mad Clock. Why can't I, or why can't I post puddings? Where are they, Jim? <sighs> it's a fucking good question. I don't know where they are. I'm taking our puddings away. Living here in a puddingless world. But now that I've read some. Super Shekel Chats. Oh, I know you love that, boy. Oh, everybody's such a fan of the Super Chats. We'll get on to, uh, we'll get on to that video. Let me just cue it up, chat. Uh, give me one moment here. And we will uh, continue where we left off. Well, no, actually, we'll continue from the beginning. Fuck it. Oh, fuck. Let me see here. I should have had some music to play. It's my fault. Okay, I think this is it, actually. Uh, yeah, that's the right one. Okay, video's still up. We'll watch it. You can tell me what you think, chat. 
Uh, if you make some allegations, we'll watch through it and find out if those allegations are true. Oh, boy. It's time for an RV trip. The RV standing for rape and violence. Who's looking forward to that? i give a little background story, I guess, as I get this set up. Uh, because people aren't going to know who the fuck this is. Uh, push that there. Uh, so, quick background story. Ice Poseidon was a big streamer. Uh, went from Twitch to YouTube. Grew a large audience. I mean, he was putting on streams that had 30,000, even more people watching it. On top of the world, making a shit ton of money. He was the, the top of the top, doing great. And then everything went to shit. Turned on the people in his own network, shut down his own network, turned on his audience. And now he's pulling streams of about 900 people. So with people kind of not paying attention to Ice Poseidon, they started to pay attention to the people that were orbiting around him or orbiting around the people that were orbiting around him. And one of those people decided to do something that Ice Poseidon had done before. They're going to do an RV trip. They're going to film it. Sounds fun. Get a bunch of drunk idiots together in a fucking motor vehicle and see what happens. Everybody's looking forward to that DUI or the crash going 80 miles an hour down or down the wrong lane. But uh, some shenanigans happened, chat, when a user by the name of Only Use Me Blade uh, got a little too drunk and said some things and did some things that he probably shouldn't have. Now, there's a video up on Richard Smullen's YouTube channel called Did Brian, a.k.a. Only Use Me Blade, sexually assault a girl during a YouTube live stream. And that is what we were starting to watch before everything went completely tits up over on DLive. So I will I will start it right where we started it on DLive. We'll watch this fucker right through. Are you excited, chat? You excited for a little sexual assault? Oh boy, it's fun times ahead. What, what, what a happy thing to watch. I know everybody's just, oh, they're so excited for it. Oh, let me see you get that down. Actually, I should pull the chat. Chat, give me a one if you're looking forward to some sexual assault on an RV trip. Give me a two. <laughs> if that makes you sad inside. God, I miss being able to do polls on stream. Me, fuck me. Fuck me hard. I'm seeing a lot of ones. Oh, they want to see some sexual assaults. I see a few twos, too. I don't blame you. I wouldn't be answering with a, <laughs> with a one either. Probably get put on a list. I probably got you all put on a list now for saying, yes, you want to watch this. Uh, just to give you a heads up, there is no, no sex, no nudity in this video. It's up on YouTube. It's taken from a YouTube live stream. All you need to know is we've got three main characters, one by the name of uh, Blade, the other by the name of Bjorn. And I think the last one's Bone Clicks or Bone Sticks. I, I don't know. I'm not 100% familiar with all of them. Uh, they're all drunk on this RV trip. And things take a, take a turn for the worst chat. So let's, uh, let's get ready to roll here. Okay, there we are. That's the video. Let me... I don't even know what that is. I don't want to play that on TV. No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't think so. I think this is about where we started off, so uh, uh, just give me one second to get it queued up perfectly. It's Bjorn, your question. Okay, here we go. All right, so let me set the let me set this up for you, chat. On the left hand side here, we got Blade. This is our boy Blade. This is the star of the show today. Over here with his shirt off, showing off that sexy bod. That's Bjorn. Now Bjorn just got done fucking a land whale. Big old pudgy fat bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is big old cam whore. He rocked that shit. Uh, they they were both awake for that. Both a little sloppy, sloppy drunk sex. But Bjorn hit it. Hit it and quit it. Now he's come out to have a cigarette. He's relaxing. <sighs> Basking in that afterglow. The fucking a fat girl. When our boy Blade here, he's just getting real horny. Maybe the thought of Bjorn just deep dicking that shit got to him. Because uh, he's got a suggestion, chat. Yeah, go have sex. I don't know if you uh, if you caught that chat. Let me let me just sum that up for you. It's a little low on the audio. It's kind of hard to hear with the uh, shitty audio quality of the RV. Uh, Blade there asked Bjorn, "Is it okay if I go fuck her?" Hey, hey bro, <laughs> I'm looking for some sloppy seconds over here, Bjorn. I want to felch out those swimmers, Bjorn. I want to just 
I want to dive. I want to tongue dive into her, Bjorn. I want to slurp up your swimmers. Oh, it's tasty, Bjorn. <laughs> Let me save you the flavor, buddy. So Blade's looking to get a little action. Bjorn, I think, is a bit stunned or drunk or stupid. He's just kind of like, what the fuck did you just say? Yeah, I guess. Go ahead. Fuck the chick. Whatever. Hi, guys. I'll be right back. I gotta pee. Blade then makes a move for the bedroom on the RV. Bjorn does not seem to care at what is happening and even Bone Clinks could be heard off camera, awake and aware of what Blade just asked, however he would soon fall asleep as the events continued. As neither men, take any action, Blade is allowed to enter the bedroom where the girl is sleeping, alone, closing the screen behind him. I like how they're both fucking stunned. Like, is he is he really gonna go back there and fuck her? <laughs> is he really gonna go get some sloppy sec? I I suspect she's passed out at this point. They were really fucking drunk. Like, if you watch the stream, that chick was just shit faced. And I think after Bjorn gave her the uh, the hammer of Thor up her ass, uh, she pretty much passed out. That was the end of the night for her. And now here he goes trotting back there, Bjorn and Bone Clicks. Uh, a little, a little fucked up about it. They can't actually believe the boy is gonna go back there and try to hit that. I don't think so. Oh no. Oh no. Bjorn is reading the YouTube chat at this point, who are now calling out how inappropriate this is. Only now does Bjorn take any action. I will stop him. I will stop him. He cannot do that. He sounds like that guy from the room. Is it Mark? I will stop him. He cannot do that. Or not, it's not Mark. What's the fucking guy's name from the room? I know you know who I'm talking about. That's who Bjorn sounds like. But I like how they had to pull a DSP and read the chat to find out what they should do. Is it okay if I let my friend sexually assault a drunk girl who's passed out in the back room? Chat, can you help me out with this? <laughs> At least DSP's only asking for tips on how to beat a Zelda boss. These guys need to find out if it's a good idea to let their friend be filmed committing sexual assault <laughs> on a live stream with fucking four cameras on him. Well, maybe not the best idea in the world, Bjorn. A lengthy exchange now takes place as Bjorn is speaking with Blade in the bedroom. It is excused as a big joke and Blade emerges from the room. I love how the narrator's like they pass it off as a big joke. Can you imagine a rapist getting caught red-handed and the cops are there, they got the guns on him, his dick's out, he's got a ski mask on, and he's like, bro, it's just a prank, bro. All right, we're, it's, we're just, she, we rused him. All right, we bamboozled this girl, it's a prank, man, do you see the hidden camera, do you see the hidden camera, officer? It's from my YouTube channel. All right, uh, no scope 360s and shit. That's the name of my YouTube channel, officer. It's a prank, bro. You gotta let me go, you can't arrest me for pranks. He just wants to see if she's okay. Oh, okay. He's joking. Yeah, he was just joking. I don't think he was just joking, chat. Do you think he was just joking? Let's back that up a little bit. What's our timestamp here? 1610. Okay, we're going to back this up and just listen to him again at the very beginning. Tell me if this sounds like some shenanigans between the boys. It's okay if I go fuck your girl, man? 
Mind if I just get uh, balls deep in that shit, bro? <laughs> it's just, oh, I'm just kidding. It's a prank, man. What are you goofing? Ended. However, after going to the bathroom, note that Blade, once again, enters the room where the girl is sleeping, alone, closing the screen behind him. I love those tits. Those are some rockin' tits, Bjorn. All right, I need to buy, I need to start selling bras on my store. All right, I think if you rock a hat, it's going to look good, but a Medicare bra with the stars across there really highlights that A cup. I mean, those are some rockin' tits. Okay, this is the shadiest shit in the video. All right, when I first watched this, and I was like, okay, where are they going to go with this? I, you really have to understand what he's doing here. He gets yanked out of the room after the chat says, stop him. And these guys have doubts about what he's doing. But he says, oh, I got to go use the bathroom. And then he opens up the fucking RV's bathroom door to block the view and sneaks in. He leaves the door open so nobody can see what's going on. He's trying to, like, ninja his way. A 500-pound man with diabetes legs is trying to ninja his way into this room on camera so nobody sees him. After Bjorn is made aware of the situation, he goes to get Blade out of the room. Note that Blade now emerges in a state of undress as he is now in his underwear, he puts his shorts back on. After a short time, after Bjorn has told him he is to sleep in the front of the RV, he once again returns to the bedroom, alone, closing the screen behind him. I think we've all been in this situation, chat. You know, you're pranking your friends, just doing a pretend rape, and you're really committed. You're method acting that shit. So when you come out of the back room with the drunk girl, you don't have your pants on because you really want that prank to be epic, bro. You really want that to be an epic, did you guys fall for it? Did I bamboozle you? Bjorn, bro, I don't think we epic prank this bitch enough, okay? Like, my date rape YouTube surprise channel? <laughs> with the best epic pranks on YouTube? I, like, I only got her twice, man. I went in there without my pants and she's crying. I think if I go back in there and hold a knife in her face, it's really going to be a great ending to this video. I got good feelings about it. I think we're going to make some real money off those, <laughs> off those Kia ads. Bjorn now goes to film Blade in the bedroom. Pay close attention to the covers, chat. Just see if you can catch see if you catch what I caught when I was watching this. Just watch the covers and the location of the covers and anything you see that moves. That you might go, huh? Blade, Blade. I, you know, I'm suspecting there's a little bit of movement in a certain area here. Maybe that's where he keeps his joy buzzer for his epic pranks. <laughs> Maybe he's going to give her a handshake and jolt her awake out of her drunken stupor. I gotcha. You ever see Batman? It's like the Joker gag. Except my cock is in the place of the buzzer. Grab a hold. Wait, are you sleeping? As he left, Bjorn left the screen door open. It is assumed so that he could keep an eye on the situation. He returns once again to the room. I love this MC Escher painting of rape. <laughs> His fucking desk is glued to the wall. Here's the fucking lamp. <laughs> could you imagine being this poor bitch? 
and you wake up and you just got the world's worst hangover, and you look over and you see some fat fucking guy you don't know with diabetes holes in his leg, and there's a fucking desk glued to the wall, <laughs> how scared would you be? Room and leaves the door open when he leaves. All those cuts are from the person that uploaded the video, not from me. is seen to emerge from the bedroom, however, now back in a state of undress, he is now covering himself with a towel. I, this is just amazing to me. It's fucking freezing back there. It's so cold back there, bro, when I was epic pranking her. I needed to press my dick against her ass. You know, to conserve body heat. Okay, she tells you otherwise, that bitch is lying. That's why I was doing that. And I've wrapped this towel around myself not to hide my giant leaking erection. But just because it's chilly and shit. You know, even though I was walking around in my underwear earlier without a problem. Oh, it's so chilly back there. I don't know if I can commit sexual assault in this weather. I'm not an Eskimo, Bjorn. You need to help me out here. <laughs> Grab the space heater. Somebody needs raping. Here, the RV has stopped. Bjorn has left the RV. Blade is seen to be moving in the bed. He jumps up as soon as he hears Bjorn re-entering the... Actually, did you catch that? I, I, maybe you didn't. I want to back up. Just watch this. Watch this. Okay, he goes back in the room. Watch, watch, watch. He thinks he's so snaky. Shuts that. Shuts those blinds again. Every time Bjorn went back there, he opened the blinds. Every single time this dude moved or did something, he closed those blinds. He doesn't want this camera watching what he's doing. Now, some fun facts about Blade from what I understand. Uh, he's got a girlfriend or had a girlfriend at the time. I don't feel too bad for her. She was cucking him. Uh, there is a video clip out there that alleges that his girlfriend was getting fucked while he was crying to her on the phone. I've seen it. It's like 20 seconds long. He's like, baby, baby, where are you? I've been trying to call you all day. And she, and she answers the phone. You can hear her panting. Ah, 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 I'm right here. Ah, ah, what do you need? Ah, ah. <laughs> it just, he looks so sad. Bjorn has left the RV, Blade is seen to be moving in the bed, he jumps up as soon as he hears Bjorn re-entering the vehicle. And this chat, this is where it got cut off. Everything you just watched is what I watched on DLive. Now I ask you, did you see any nudity? Was there any sexual content? Has my commentary, does this seem over the line to you? I'm watching a video called, Did Only Use Me Blade Sexually Assault a Girl? Where a man is seen repeatedly going into the back room with a girl who's drunk or, you know, passed out, completely fucking out of it, telling people he wants to fuck her, taking his pants off, constantly getting under the covers, 
Every time somebody goes in there to pull him out, he goes back in and shuts the blinds. Does it over and over again. So we're watching this. We watch this on DLive, and right at this second is when the stream went down. Which is weird, because there's not a lot more to watch on this video. This was the compilation of this portion of the RV trip. Now, there are two more things that happened. Two, two other clips we're going to watch. One is somebody decided to A-log him. <laughs> He went out to stream in public and somebody just followed him around calling him a rapist. And the other is a girl's reaction to watching this video. And she gets fucked up. Like the chick from this RV trip watches this video. And like she breaks down in tears and shit and turns the camera off. So I figure we'll watch that. We'll, we'll jump into that. We'll watch that. To complete our little story arc of what happened on this RV trip. With uh, Blade and uh, Cam Whore and Bone Clicks and Bjorn. So I'll get those queued up. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know, Chad. You tell me. Was I out of line? Are we out of line watching this? This completely acceptable video that doesn't violate terms of service on a, a platform like YouTube. That's talking about a potentially uh, dirty, nasty thing a motherfucker might have done on a live stream that he was stupid enough to leave up. I think we're well within, well within our acceptable rights to be uh, to mock this, because it seems sketchy as fuck. It seems sketchy as fuck. And I'll be honest with you. And I think I've got. You know, we'll take a, a small break. I'll try to break up the super chat so it's not a long, fucking thing of it. Uh, where are we going here? All right. From Mad. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a bit of a, bit of a cold. I've been cursed by a Chinese voodoo, I think. From Mad Clock. Why can't I post puddings? Where are they, Jim? And they're fucking gone forever. Onyx voice acting. Good to see the sky. Barbells haven't claimed you yet. Screaming peacefully in your sleep in the night. Uh, kiosk man, no message, but thank you. Jack Powell. Jim, can we go to your island so you can groom us? Everybody's welcome in outer heaven, my friend. From James O'Shaughnessy. All those Lino coins down the drain. Sad lemon sounds. From Leviathan. The Chinese are just weird, tiny Jews. <laughs> From Ninja Work 111, Jim, I love you, Boomer. Well, what the fuck are uh, you expecting threatening to stream Tiananmen Square on the Chinese platform? They legit had no choice but to kick you off. I wasn't actually streaming about Tiananmen Square, merely about the protests that were kicking up in uh, Hong Kong. Hadn't even really, they didn't even know what side I was going to take. For all they know, I was going to say, I love China. But now they're never going to know. From Gojira, based bug spray, from Padre, or Padre Speaks, Sweetie Squad, Roll Out Baby, Leviathan. Imagine being a Chinese individual, crazy insane. From ARU, Autist Rise Up. Or, I'm sorry, from Wolfbane ARU, Autist Rise Up. James Stephen, Jim, my girlfriend broke my heart. Take my lemons. I kind of no remember. Eduardo Ramirez, big ups to my neggies in chat. Puffin on that Adolf. James Beatnik, burn it down, boys. Retards, rise up. Oh, there's a revolution going on, boys. From Veggie Bad, the mass booting of people as undesirable opinions should be a wake-up call that democracy never existed and never will exist in this great or in this world of greed. Banky culture, democracy is gay. From Graf von Trill, time to give Hong Kong some combustible lemons to burn Beijing's house down. From Carnizzle, quite a bit of Chinese that I can't read, but I'll read the English portions. The Tiananmen Square protest of 1989, the Tiananmen Square massacre. And the anti-rightist struggle. Oh, boy. From Leapshin Talks. Hello, Mr. Uh, Meteor Showers. The boy toy man of Trojan Love. Leapshin supports you and I also. I was the one who was watching you and the dirty strip club you visit for true lovers. I'll keep that on the down low. From Kimonti Fisher. Make lemonade, Jim. Stone Mexican guy. I love you, Tamro. I love you, Tamro. Tamro is amazing. Tamro is the best magic player. Paul Branham, Sick Semper Tyrannus, from Future Statist, or Statistic, sorry. <laughs> when life steals your lemons, make your way to bitwave.tv. Read two more here and we'll jump back in. From Scoop, I know everyone thinks that Liberty Prime was an Optimus clone, but he reminded me more of the big guy from Big Guy and Rusty with the anti-communist rhetoric. And finally from CXBOJNFFB, have you played the new Fire Emblem? I wasn't expecting it to be so based. Where you kill fedora-tipping edgelords. Well, you know, 
I'll tell you, I have not had a chance to play it. Uh, maybe, maybe it's uh, fucking amazing. But somebody, somebody's using the Switch to play other shit, so I'm just gonna have to wait my fucking turn. All right, let me, let me grab the next clip. Well, what, what clip should we go for here? I think we'll jump into. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're gonna jump into the one where the dude's following him around. Then we'll go to the chick watching the live or the video itself, uh, giving her reaction to it. I think that's probably the best way to do it. So let me just find those here. All right, I have not watched uh, either of these to completion, so we'll probably skip around a little bit, but uh, we'll start out with the stream sniper fucking with this guy. All right, let me pull this up on stream for everybody. There we go. It's called Crazy uh, crazy Stream Sniper Presses Only Use Me Blade and almost fights him. <laughs> it's kind of like, it's not like a starship, but it's just like, I've, I've kind of followed you guys more or less, and I think you do try to say anything, but you know, it's kind of... What do you guys have this time? I don't know. Let's, let's you guys seem hella fucking bored. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, you guys seem tired. I don't know what it is. No, let's go. Are good? Fine? Yeah. Probably do a third show. If you're actually going through the hippies, <laughs> then I'm Can I follow you guys for a little bit? Yeah, yeah. It's cool, you guys. Yeah, yeah, why not? Blade. This is the same guy who swatted ice in 2018 and has been posting the posts on Reddit. Don't trust him. He's been following you for the whole RV trip trying to set you up. Ah, oh, noted. Hmm. Yeah, we might have to shake him. Might have to shake this one. Let's go over that set, though. To the left. What? To the left. I don't want to, like, intrude my... I don't want to fucking, like... You know, just be here and, like, people like, I hate this guy. Can I splash from a distance? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That'd be perfect. Come on. All right, we're going to jump around and find the good stuff. See where this starts getting uncomfortable. I'm, I'm talking to fucking this guy the whole time. Freaking stops. Yeah. Okay, so glad that you got to finally meet me. I know this is like dick move, but we got to part ways. Is that you fucking groper? I'm not. You that fucking groper. Ah, uh, here we go. Dude, are we already talked to the girl? I didn't do anything, dude. You didn't do shit. I didn't do shit. What are those videos that you fucking groper? I'm not, I didn't go fucking groper. You're not. You're not part of this right now, I don't dude. Give a f you're a fucking groper, bro. You just started being in fucking jail. How you can do that shit? Dude. Tell me many times. Dude, you you're talk to the girl. Fat virgin, bro. Fat drunk virgin. Dude, dude. push me, push me, push me, push me. Let me dude, see that. Come stop. On, man. Come on. Come on. Dude. No, I'm gonna. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't grow up no I woman. A, I'm gonna press her. Bro. I don't give a. Let me hear that. What is your excuse for groping that girl? Let I didn't f***ing grope her, dude. You fat, f***ing ugly, f***ing leg virgin. Come on. Dude, I'm, I'm serious. gonna fight. Ooh. No, I don't want to fight. I want to talk to you, dude. You can fight me, I then. I, I don't want to fight you, dude. You f***ing ugly, fat, virgin f***er. Come on. Dude. Come on, dude, do some I, shit. I, I'm not, I'm Are not you shaking right now? Yeah, I'm shaking right now, dude. I got f***ing alcohol withdrawal. I suck. <laughs> I, can't, I can't fight you right now, bro. Oh, you don't understand. <laughs> I got the DTs. I can't stop shaking. I need me some liquor. My diabetes legs, they're aching. My holes are pussing up. <laughs> I can't fight you right now. Stop calling me a rapist in this public park. I know you're a fucking foul alcoholic virgin, but I mean, why would the fuck would you rape someone? I didn't rape anybody, dude. What'd you do then? I went to go sleep. We've already had this conversation all last night, dude. Mm -hmm. Just talk to her. Don't shake your lips. What? What are you talking about? Please don't fight. I'm not gonna fight him. I'm just gonna call him out though. A fat fucking virgin groper that um, pays for the fucking PayPal. No. Don't even get in my fucking face. No. Okay. Come on, come on. Oh, it's a nerd fight. Oh, it's a fucking nerd fight. Okay, no. He looks like Luke Cyborg, the fucking training. No, no, no. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Dude, look at him. I'm not, I'm not a fighter, dude. Stop, I'm not gonna fight you either. No worries. Right, come on. All right, come Stop thinking that shit. No, I'm not gonna shoot your fucking hand. You made your Point and so we just said, go. So you're, you admit you're being a groper? I'm not a fing groper, dude. We already talked about this shit. You have shakes from the fing withdrawal? Yeah, I got shakes from the withdrawal. I'm fing alcohol. Hey, put it on him. Look at him shaking. Bjorn, put that shit on him shaking. No, I feel you. I mean, you can see him shaking here. Um, no admins. Hey, Blade, are you shaking? Yeah, I'm fing shaking, dude. Well, I'm gonna so walk around. I had one thing to eat all day, and yeah. I'm you called me out, so why shouldn't I call you out? I called you out because my chat, my chat didn't like you. Sweaty ass, shaking virgin. All right, you made your point, dude. Pay on pay. <laughs> the 
this. <laughs> he just won't stop. He's like, you're a fat, fucking ugly, sweaty virgin. You grope or stop groping. A little nerd fight in the park between the skinny little, uh, skinny little dude and the fat guy. Oh, I would have paid for that. I wish Bjorn had backed up about 20 feet to get a nice full fucking view of this. Hey, though. How much does she owe you? How much do you owe her? Come on, come on. That hey. fat f***ing whale. Hey, hey. Come here. I don't pay her anything I'm paid by No, no, not even for weed? Oh, for the uh, weed that she uh, brought over? Yeah. He's my friend. He's oh. my friend. I know he's your friend. Hey, but he called me out first. Come on. He called me out first. Come on, Relax. Come on. He called me out first. Stop, stop, stop. 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 I'm not trying to fight anyone. Stop. Hey, stop, hey stop, stop, stop. Hold this. Hold this. Hey, 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 God, I wish they had filmed this better. I don't know why they didn't. Isn't this content? Isn't this what IRL streamers love? Following people around, watching them get bitch smacked? I'm calling you out because you called me out. Okay. I'm not trying to fight any of you guys. I'm not trying to fight you either. So you're going to call, you're going to defend that fucking this fucking virgin. That fucking you. For fucking, a fat bitch with blonde hair. That fucking brought his, <laughs> she brought her fucking boyfriend on stream and she shared her pants. <laughs> I can't believe this. Stop. Get away from me. If you touch me, I'm gonna fing knock you. I swear to God, if you hey, touch me. Hey, hey, hey. I'm not gonna assault you. You don't fing drive them. Hey, no, no, I'm not feeling anyone. Come on. He's trying to touch me. He touched me. Stop. Just go away. Dude, seriously. I will. Seriously. But you can't. You came up to me. No, you can't. Hey. Come on, dude. You've Shout been very nice. Shout out to you. You've been very nice to you. Get the f away from me. What the f? You guys came up to me. You're trying to press me. This fat. We tried to leave. We tried to leave you, dude. What are you talking about? With a lean and Don't touch me. Touch me again. Touch me again. Hey, hey. Ugly ass. You're married to a ugly ass type. She's using for a green card. You know? I know. But at the same time, realize this. Nobody likes you guys. You guys come here and you press people like it is what it is. I came to see you're, you're... I liked you guys. I was like, hey, well, these guys, guess what? At the same time, this is fast. I came here to see if I like you guys. No, he came there to start shit. I think we all are in agreement on that. So you can see, things aren't going well for Blade. Okay. You got the street, this video is circulating now. It's got like 60,000 views. People are speculating, did he, did he sexually assault this girl? She was like, oh, I don't remember anything. I'm sure nothing happened. Now he's getting accosted by fucking people in the park, calling him a groper. <laughs> Trying to fight him and shit. Which leads us into our last video. Our last video related to this, at least. I'm, there, maybe there's more. I, I really don't know. I'm sure there's probably more shit out there. These are the, these are the ones that I came across. Uh, this is her reacting to the video itself. So let me uh, pull this up. This is on IP2. I think somebody just clipped it and put it up. Hopefully this plays on stream. We'll find out. Everything's a quarantine fucking community these days. Jesus. Okay, so this is the chick watching uh, Blade expose video on her stream, and she ends up crying. This is the girl that he uh, he snuggled up to, and gave a little bit of a, a surprise sex uh, in the middle of the night. Let's uh, pull this up. Oh, we'll skip ahead a little bit. And just we'll watch her reaction as she's watching the video. <laughs> I like the editing. Had stripped down to his boxers. Why he was under the covers with the girl. The unexplained movement. The girl throughout made no accusations. 
only stating that she could not remember anything from the night before. Blade's response was to ask that she be kicked off the RV, something both Bjorn and Bone Clink's object to. Bjorn, uh, should we keep or should we drop her off on the side of the fucking road? I also, I, I don't have that clip, but apparently he wanted, <laughs> apparently, after being accused of sexually assaulting her, his solution was to dump her on the side of the highway. Just pull the RV over. She can't report us if we throw her in a ditch. <laughs> And despite the discussions still growing online about this entire event, <clears throat> the clips of which are now being removed from all sources, Keemstar states he has no big stories to report on. In the end, Blade has still made no explanations, but looking at his previous clips, some context is provided as to how he may feel about things. It's not rape if they don't have an orgasm. Fuck it. And, and okay, I don't think I if I'm if this shit is like I don't think I should just be on stream doing this shit. If I'm gonna do some, uh, I don't know. There you go, chat. There you go. That's the saga of Blade. That's what we're going to cover on DLive, but apparently not family-friendly enough for the Chinese. You've got a live stream on an RV, some uh, sketchy shit going on. The guy gets accosted in the park. Later on heard uh, saying that it's just a prank, bro, and we should throw her on the side of the highway and ditch her. <laughs> and now she's getting all fucked up watching videos about it. It looked a little shook to me. I wouldn't say she was crying, but she looked a little fucked up. If I'm going to do something about this, I shouldn't do it on stream. Oof. Blade. I think bad things are coming your way, bro. I think she's starting to remember a little bit. Probably going to get a little bit upset. Especially as this gets talked about more. I would not want to be you. Just uh, just putting that one out there. So it's uh, one hell of a RV trip. That's only use me, Blade. I think they're still doing their RV trip. I'm not sure what their next shenanigans are going to be. Maybe they'll kill somebody. I don't know how you top this. They'll figure something out. Make it, uh, make some epic content for all the kids. They love that kind of stuff. Maybe they'll throw her out of a moving vehicle. Add a little drama to the stream. Everybody likes a bit of road rash. Why not? Fuck it. That's how we roll over here. Only grope me blade. Well, that's a, that's a new name to go with. I mean, that one works. That one works. Oh, chat. I uh, see. I'm I'm happy now. I got to finish it. I just wanted to watch this stupid shit and just talk about it. All right, Twenty minutes, boom. Right? Twenty minutes. Watch twenty minutes of video. Have a little bit of a conversation about it. Move on. Apparently, can't do that on D Live. Not allowed. Not allowed because uh, apparently Chinese communism is not uh, not favorable of that. You know what I have to say to that chat? Now, when I got banned from other places, I said. <sighs> When I'm sad, pay me. It's the only cure, really. When you're very sad, you need to pay me money. I've come up with a new one for this D-Live situation. Another little nugget of Jim. A little bit of wisdom to pass down for you. Uh, let me see. I think I've got a graphic to help illustrate this. Uh, Chinese communist lemons bad. Capitalist hats good. If you want to teach D-Live a lesson, you got to buy my fucking hats. All right, that's the only way you're going to teach these communists their fucking place. These lemon-loving motherfuckers. It's by buying a goddamn American capitalist hat. Oh, got to use that USA dollars to do it. Where are you going to do that, you ask? Well, you don't really ask, but I'm going to show you anyway. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm going to show you anyway. Teach those goddamn communists a lesson. All right, this is America. we got to do this. You're going to do that over at my store. Buy my hats. Teach the communists a lesson. Fuck the lemons. Buy a hat. That's right. Over on Teespring. Buy a hat. You see this? It's not subliminal messaging, chat. All right? I'm, uh, this hasn't been an elaborate op to get you to buy my hats. <laughs> the Chinese are really abusing me. And my rights to 
stream about Tiananmen Square on their fucking platform. Shameful. It's fucking shameful. I don't know. Maybe you're not going to buy a hat. I guess that means you're a fucking communist. If you can live with it, that's fine. I don't know if I could handle it. I love America too much. I love the red, white, and blue. love my apple pie and baseball. Sometimes I just look at the Statue of Liberty. It's so goddamn beautiful. <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh, some people threw some money at Streamlabs. Well, shit. Let me, let me uh, answer some of these. Hey, Jim. Ultimate Epstein Black Bill. Pederist. Oh, no, I've read that one earlier. That one was earlier today. Uh, yo, Jim. The Minotaur family uh, finally get to see you live, even though it's because you bitch slapped out of Lemon Farms. Seen all your vids. Even the cringy X-Files. Uh, so keep the good fight, my fellow nigga. Well, thank you very much. Insane Mind Posses 60. I, think, I wonder if you were going for posse, but misspelled it. Who knows? From Jeff Epstein, China number one, Medic or Fembot. I asked the question generally, uh, or generally on Twitter and also added you the question. Think Ice Poseidon might be in talks with DLive behind the scenes and they cried to DLive. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, DLive doesn't need Ice Poseidon. They've got PewDiePie. I mean, the guy, like I said, he brings in 50 to 100,000 streamer or viewers on his streams. Uh, Ice Poseidon's bringing in about 900 right now. I, I can't see that he would have much sway with DLive in particular. I mean, maybe, but uh, personally, I don't think that's what's going on. From uh, Joe Man, the killer. Hey, Jumbo Slice, have you heard of Alpha Genesis? Uh, he accused Keemstar of killing Attica and is a confirmed pedophile as he said so on stream. I'm getting some Ross vibes. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, kids in a tub. No, actually, I have not heard of the guy. I'll take a look at it. You know, somebody sent me uh, video links to some dude's police interrogation uh, saying he was an anime murderer. <laughs> like he made his dad drive him to a killing and then killed his dad and did it for his wife. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But I, I was going to watch it on stream with you guys, but it's four hours long. I've got to I've got to cut it down so we can actually watch it in digestible chunks. But we'll watch the video interrogation of the anime killer on the next stream. It's like two or three parts 12 or so hours, I'll cut it down into like a nice hour chunk of all the best moments. And we'll see what Mr. Animu got up to when he slaughtered a bunch of people or whatever the fuck he did. From Jasper the Cat, what is Glow Gang? Well, it's G-L-O-G-A-N-G. -G. We are Glory, Bo <laughs> Glory Boys Entertainment. It's G-B-E. It's shortened. You can say either one, though. It doesn't matter. I won't get offended. Gang won't get offended. From TK. It's a fucking miracle that your YouTube account is still not banned. How long until they remember you exist and cleanse your icky wrong think from their platform? Tell us the secret to immunity. Well, I don't, I don't think necessarily YouTube's going to mind us laughing at a guy that potentially committed a date rape on stream. I don't think they're, you know, a lot of the shit that I cover ends up being like really weird sex perverts or fucking people that go after kids or criminals. Uh, and then, you know, the people that I cover that don't really do that, that are the weird ones, I actually end up liking, like, Terry, Dave, uh, Terry, um, was a good guy. Uh, so, I, I don't fucking know. I don't think it's long for the world, that's why I'm looking for alternate platforms to stream and do videos on. From Anon, 08chan.net, from JB Behemoth, uh, nice goodbye tune for China Lemon Lords. Well, take a look at it. Please watch the only Use Me Blade music video, Jim. Uh, maybe if we have time later on. Uh, thus concludes the Streamlabs or Labs section of this. I don't know. You tell me, Chet. Do you want to watch a police interrogation of a man called the Anime Killer? I, I don't know where it's going to go. Apparently he says really fucking crazy shit. Now, I can put the effort in. We can cut that uh, 12 hours down to an hour and really deep dive that shit. And do it maybe Friday or Saturday evening. Nice evening stream of crazy people killing people for their waifus. Give me a one if that's interesting to you. Give me a two if you don't care about the Animu Killer. I'm seeing a lot of yeses. I'm seeing a lot of yeses. I don't blame you. I mean, honestly, Animu Killer is just, it's the kind of name you're like, fuck, okay, I can roll with that. Yes, yes for the Anime Killer? All right. Uh, this Friday, we'll say at 9 o'clock, well, yeah, uh, this Friday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern. We will watch the police interrogation of the anime killer and read up about his court case and find out what's going on there. 
if it's complete shit, I'll find another police interrogation to watch. But we'll check out uh, uh, the. I, I don't. I have to think of really clever names for them. I don't have anything right now. Anime or Animu Annihilator, uh, Hentai Holocauster, uh, I, uh, the Dead Dojinji. I don't. I, like I don't know. I have to think of of shit. But we'll figure it out. We'll get through the tough times, chat. Uh, for future videos coming up, if people are curious, they're going to go on BitChute. You know, I was just getting into my groove on DLive. I had the streaming thing down. I was going to start uploading now onto BitChute. And then DLive gets the legs cut out from under it, and I get fucked. So, you know, I guess I'll stream on YouTube now, off and on. Um, it won't be like Medicare or the Manchild, the morning shit. And then I'll look for a viable alternative, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. In the meantime, I'll just stream here. Uh, but future videos, though, I'm, I'm probably going to put up on BitChute. Just because, you know, again, you can't really... There's a line now that you can't go over when it comes to making jokes anymore. And BitChute's pretty lax on it. They're pretty they're pretty okay about it. So I think it should be fine. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it is going forward. But uh, as far as confirmed streams and shit, Friday night, Animu Killer. Police interrogation, criminal background. We'll dig into that. As far as, as this, you know, I just wanted to update people on what was going on in Lemonland. Sadly, it's... Uh, it's over for me. It's tragic, I know. Amazed 13,000 people ended up coming out to watch. Uh, thank you. Apparently, people are still interested in streams over here. So, I mean, that's something. See? Do you see what happened, D-Live? You see that? The people wanted it, and you weren't willing to give it to them. Shameful. Just shameful. They just wanted to laugh at a fat guy with diabetes legs. <laughs> Trying to fuck a camel. Couldn't let us have our enjoyment. Had to cut us fucking short. Fucking shameful. Oh, let me put up... Uh, where is she here? There we go. Now look at that. See, that's a protester. That's a Hong Kong protester. Police shot my eye out. Now compare that to this goofy shit. This was Antifa. This is fucking Antifa in Portland when they met up with the Proud Boys. This is the exact scene from the South Park movie called Operation Get Behind... Was it Get Behind the Darkie? <laughs> where was all the soldiers made the black guys go up front? to be human shields. And here's Antifa with one <laughs> one gangbanger and two cripples and then everybody else is standing behind their meat shield. And compare that to this. Look at that. That's elegant. See that? She's not there's she's not hiding behind Tyrone. She's not hiding behind uh you know uh people in their wheelchairs taking bullets to the eye. That's some OG shit. I've never seen Antifa take a shot to the eye that didn't, <laughs> that wasn't composed of human body fluids, if you know what I mean. A little eye patch girl and her ninja mask ready to raise hell. That's all we're going to talk about. Have a few laughs about it. <clears throat> but again, another potential reason the stream got pulled down. I don't know. Nobody gave me a fucking clue as to why the stream got cut. I guess we'll know. It'll always be a mystery. I should have played Blue's Clues. Live and learn. Live and learn, chat. Um, I will read the Super Chats. We'll go through those. End out the stream. I hope you have a, a good evening. If you came here for just the stream, that's this portion's done. I'm just going to read the Super Chats now, I, like I usually do. Let me put up the... Uh, no, wouldn't be... I don't know. I used, to have a little, I used to have a little thing that just said Super Chats so people didn't waste their time if they weren't interested. Okay, here we go. Let me just fix this. All right. Uh, there we are. Okay. So I'll read those. Uh, thanks for coming out to the stream. Uh, again, future streams, at least in the min or meantime, we'll be here. Have one on Friday. Uh, future videos will go up on BitChute. I'll figure out an alternative streaming site to use. I don't know what one it's going to be. If you want to follow the RV Adventures, it's only Use Me Blade. Uh, that's where they're streaming at. I don't know what they're going to be doing in the future, but who knows how that fucking story is going to go. But at least you're caught up to it. At least you know where it is now. So let me read through these super chats uh, again to everybody else. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening. And uh, swing by Friday because we will be doing the anime killer and seeing if that's uh, as entertaining as it fucking sounds like it is. Uh, from Chilled Milk, you suck some lemons to get back on DLive? Uh, no, no, actually, I didn't do anything. From Lee Start, FD Live. From Cis White Male with Extra Privilege. 
I put all of the Murdoch Murdoch's recommended books on BitChute and audio form. Organized in four playlists, same name as this one. Took me two months to do it. Yeah, I have to go to either their website to watch their videos, or you can find uploads or re-uploads, I should say, up on BitChute or Vimeo. But like everywhere else, they've been eliminated. Like they can't even put up announcement videos on YouTube anymore without them getting immediately ripped down. Which pisses me off because I like Murdoch Murdoch. I just want to watch it because I find it funny. But like it's just, it, there's no way they're ever going to let it back here. From the Packard Goose, knock knock, who's there? Tiananmen Square, KTTK, would you touch Ralph's gunt? I'm going to have to give a pass on that one. CXBOJNFFB. Also, what do you think of the cyberpunk JoJo game Astro Chain that is coming out this week? Actually, it looks really good. I don't know how it's going to play, but I I like the way it looks. So I'm hoping it's as good as it looks. From Archville. Hey, Jim. 3D Realms capitulated to Reset Era. From now on, they're going to have their devs go through sensitivity training. Yeah, I know. Uh, they shouldn't have bent the knee, but they did. From Cringe Lord. Oh, my God. I just watched it. It's hilarious. From Mike Oz or Oxlong. Jim, can you say this 10 times without messing it up? Pad kid poured curd pulled cod. Uh, no, I can already tell you I can't do that. And I'm going to guess it's going to make me say something that's that's probably not appropriate. I'll have to puzzle that mystery out later. From Kalenka Pavlova, I'm a new sub. Known about you for a while, but just recently began been watching some of your streams and vids. I like you. No hetero. Thank you. From Bob Jones, the Lemon Emperor has taken away all of your social credit points. Hashtag justice for Jade. From Blue Diamond Gem, Boogie1488 has a sex tape. Oh boy, who isn't looking forward to that? From Steph Dev, why are you streaming while Gail is? You are stealing all of her, her Israel lemons from China. Bad, bad goy. Hey, let me just say that Jesuits are everywhere, Gail. You can't stop us. From Grant Lukens, Fat Jarbo strikes again. Oh, you know what? Actually, let me talk about that. I'm sorry, Chad. I know I said just Super Chats right now. I know people have already started taking off. One last thing. Because Dame Pesos posted about this on Twitter. Uh, let me let me unsuper chat this for a second. There we go. I think I bookmarked these. Uh, give me one second. I'm fairly certain it's been saved, so it was easy to look at because I was looking at this earlier. Oh shit! Did I? I maybe I didn't. Uh, yep. Nope. I've got them. Okay. Uh, one second. I'll put them up on screen. So uh, Dame Pesos got hit, and it's. Looking pretty obvious. You probably did it. Can you take a guess, chat? Can you guess who, who went after him? Oh, it's a fucking mystery, I know. Who could have gone after Dame? Who would do such a thing? Oh, let's see. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. All this technical work. All right. Here we go. I'll put this up. Just a quick update on what's going on with that. Got to get rid of a girl here for a moment. Uh, so this is from uh, Dami. He got hit a couple of times. Actually, let me. There's, there are a couple tweets, so let me make sure I got the right ones. Uh, really bad news from five hours ago. I have really bad news. Monday and Matt is mass false flagging my channel. Three have already gone down, and I have two strikes on my channel. I don't think Dami Pesos will survive this time. I want to thank all the viewers for making this year on YouTube truly special. I love you all. Uh, here's his first, uh, well, not even a strike. It's a warning you get. Followed up by a second strike. And then here are the videos that got hit. Kraut and Shitrat filled plot to frame Ralph for Sargon's ban is the Soilless Matt Christmas show. Matt false flagged me after apologizing. The balls on that, by the way. The balls to flag a video about flagging videos. And then finally, uh, Monday and Matt's leaks, lol suit update, and Medicare suit. All Monday and Matt videos, all, all Soilless Matt show. Taken down. His channel's probably going to be dust. It's looking like somebody's trying to take it out. And I believe... Uh-oh. Oh, that's somebody. And I believe he tried to appeal some of these, and they, they got fucked. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Hi, Dami Pesos. Our team has reviewed your content, and unfortunately, we think it violates our hate speech policy. We've removed the following video from YouTube, and it's the Monday Matt Leaks video. I can't imagine a lawsuit update or me getting sued would probably be enough to violate hate speech. But the one thing I can see on that list that probably somebody wanted to take down were the leaks of Monday and Matt. Now, I don't know if he has the balls to actually do this. I mean, it would be fucking incredible if he did to flag videos talking about him flagging videos. 
But that is the update with Dame right now. Uh, so you are up to date. I don't know the fate of his channel. Uh, it looks like he's currently sitting on one strike and one warning. And three videos have been taken down. And the appeals on those videos have been denied. So I don't know. I don't know what way that's going to go. But it's bullshit. I can tell you that much. Yeah, can we get an F for Dame? An F in chat for Dame Pesos? And the Soilless Match Show? Again, just another example of shit that's funny getting yanked down. Uh, because somebody gets pissed off about it. Uh, people in chat. Seems obvious. Press S to spit on Matt. Uh, yep. It Again, this reminds me of the whole fucking stream with Ralph. You know, he shows a video that Matt had up that Matt was embarrassed about. Stream instantly taken down. Then another stream is started up and Matt cops to basically flagging a bunch of people. And Didn't he flag Dame in the first place in that first stream where he got exposed? And now here go all of Dame's videos getting flagged one after the other. It's a hell of a coincidence. A lot of F's and S's in chat. A lot of people paying respects and spitting on Matt. <laughs> they're, they're torn on this. They don't know what way to go. A lot of fuck you, Matt's. Uh, from uh, Joey Jojo, that Nintendo Indie Showcase was disappointing, but I was or it wasn't as disappointing. And, uh, oh no, I... The Indie Showcase was disappointing, but I wasn't as disappointing in that then Mumpkey's Girl was during sex when life gives you lemons. I think I mean, I think I understand what you're trying to say, but uh, yeah, that Mumpkey sex tape is out there. Uh, enjoy your 45 seconds of entertainment. From Michael Kramer, uh, they took you off of DLive, those lemon-stealing whores, the Revzel. It was a gay fake ops. From Rhea, Jim, my ex watches your streams. Can you say, Harry, stop stalking me? Are you also going to cover Jessica Yaniv? Uh, well, no. No, I... Uh, the Yaniv thing is going on. I know... I think Blair White is trying to get Yaniv arrested for doxing Blair. Uh, Blair made some statement saying that they put out their address and they had him on uh, audio tape admitting to doing that tr and getting the information illegally. I don't know what's going on with that. And didn't they also... Didn't Yaniv get arrested for, like, having a fucking taser and showing it off on stream? What are you going to do? From Charles Mock, uh, forget those worthless lemons. You don't need them. Just keep putting up your content that makes us all laugh. Thanks for what you do. Medicare Fembot, you should know better than to trust the Chinese. From Data Two Hearts, Papa Jim returns to the Ooh! Where has our boomer been? I've been over at D-Live. Doing a morning show that's now gone to shit because I, I just, I don't trust it. You're not going to give me any information on why you banned me. You're going to ban me for no reason. I don't trust it. They reinstated that channel and a week or two from now, if I were to stream over there again, they're going to ban me for a more acceptable reason. I just am not falling for it. From Kiosk Man, hey, Papa Jimbo, check out Smashcast or Vaughn. From Skeleton, so Jimbo, I know how much you uh, love to annoy chat with great and prolific rap tracks. I think I got one you'll enjoy. Bussy Gang by Decooters. Enjoy chat. From Rev, bra moment. Mike Pence, rip, Dami Pesos, Boulder King flagged him into the quarry. From Down Forward Punch, DSP survives another streamer getting banned. He will outlive us all and stream for roaches after the apocalypse. Uh, very fucking true. From Keegan the Great, Jim. This will be my last donation. I'm moving somewhere where I'll be unable to send anymore. Thanks for the laughs, you magnificent motherfucker. Oh, well, thanks for the donations. Enjoy your move. Hope it works out well for you. From Iron Wolf Spear, they must unban you. If not, I will head to a mosque and tell them to subscribe to PewDiePie. Don't bother glow in the darks. Hail the Lemon Emperor. From Eduardo Diaz, uh, no message attached. From cis white male with extra privilege, blacks have a 50% higher rate of homosexuality. Well, I learned something new every day, I guess. From Darren Pal, F for Boogie's reputation. From Zug 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 Zugson, Bitwave TV for a better future for your children, Jim. From Ghosty, welcome home, Jimbo. White Rice, help in build or help in your fun to build Liberty Prime to destroy the Lemon Emperor. I'm working together, we'll do it. Graf Von Trill. Still basking in the very good news of Carlos Maza being made to learn to code. So much for this petty little deplatforming crusade of his. From SJW Central. You should cover Only Use Me Babe like you did for Wings. Dude was an OG COD mo or commentator that fell from grace and he's also a PKA regular. Well, I'll, you know, I'll look into it more. My only exposure to him so far was to streams. People said, oh, there's this, the, these drunk guys on an RV stream. You should check it out. And then I saw the uh, video put up about uh, the shenanigans that went on. But that's about all I know of these people. 
from Dr. Habib. Will we ever upload YouTube videos again? Uh, well, I will upload videos again. Uh, there'll probably be some on YouTube, but again, they'll be up uh, over on BitChute. I'll put, I'll put up announcement videos so people know. From Kalinka Pavlova, I downloaded DLive because of you. Time to delete. Eduardo Ramirez, it's because you mentioned honk honk. Hashtag free only use me grow. Alex Blackfoot, tell my friend Holly she gay. Well, Holly, Alex wants me to tell you, you gay. From cis white male with extra privilege, blacks for a higher rape rate, so oppressed. From Metacore's Lunicorn Archives, banned on DLive, not banned on YouTube, Clown World. Chad Fitzgerald, we still haven't found or finished Photon Jim. I know, it fucking disappoints me. From Eric Wolf, Jim, have you ever heard of Vaughn Live? It's a small streaming site that I'm sure would be happy to have you. That's where Ghost Politics streams now. Uh, no, I've not heard of it. Uh, a few people did mention it today, but it's the first time I've heard of it. From Kuntzkrieg Kinopix Studios. What a shame for DLive. Uh, Lou Yiffy. I, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. From Metacore's Lunacar and Archives. Since your channel is back, I think you can cash out your lemons. Better do it before that's gone too. Elizabeth uh, Bathory. The bug men have finally got you, Jim. Pieces of work. Taiwan number one. Daniel Menefrego. Dance pudding dance. Bitch dance. Ellen Down Under. No talk. Hong Kong Ching Chong. That's wrong. I think you're all sending coded messages to start an international incident. Uh, hopefully we survive it. From James Beanick. Can we enact the final lemon solution? From Richard Murphy. Monkey Jones is going to break your bones. Hashtag gang gang. Maggie Ellis. Can you not start your own website and stream there? Oh, well, you know, let me just run out and code. <laughs> I don't know how to fucking... One, I don't know how to run a website. Two, I wouldn't know how to program one or develop one or code for one. Uh, three, no. No, I just just, uh, just outright no. Everybody that runs their own website goes crazy. There's that one person that starts their own website that isn't fucking insane by the end of it. You, you can't point me to one person. Every one of them loses their shit. After a few years. Uh, from Anon Johnson. Hey, Jimbo. Jimco widgets and more shirts when? I, you know, I'll probably throw a few up. Sure. Uh, from Kenrick50. Damn it, Jim. You're such a... Uh, I don't know what that word is. C-not. Uh, but so entertaining. Uh, I can't stay away. Never stop. Is it cunt? Were you going for cunt? Uh, Forgone, Jim. I'm sad. Dex out for... Or Dex out for Harambe. Hurry up and wait. Totally don't go on DLive and spam. Free Hong Kong. We was Manchild. From Tism Train, end me, please. Deadbeat, throwing up some lemons. From Sus, I've been thinking about having sex with you. Well, thank you very much. I, oh, boy. Oh, I tell you right now, I don't have those sexy diabetes legs like Blade does. Hopefully that doesn't get in the way of our love, though. From Rain Floater, hey, Jim, been wanting to ask for a while now. Any reading recommendations book on political theories you agree with? Or ones just for entertainment? I don't know what kind of reading you like. Fiction, nonfiction. If you want a really good autobiography, uh, which is some pretty good insight into a guy, go read the autobiography of Benjamin Franklin. Probably one of the most honest fucking uh, self-analysis you'll ever come across. All it is is him talking about what a horrible fuck-up he is and how he tried to not be a fuck-up. From trying to blackmail his brother, to stealing money, to trying to fuck his best friend's wife, he's very honest about all of it. He also talks about how to manipulate people and do shit like that. It's a really fucking fascinating read. I, I promise you it's well worth it. It's worth the investment to read. You'll be you'll be surprised. Uh, from Scarton, go to Plexstorm for your X-rated stuff. 26K down the drain. My boy is back from Chinese government madness. Anthony Serbert, here's some more money. Hyperion 9997. Pay, or press F to pay respects to Manchild in the morning. Loved it. Yeah, I, I was enjoying doing it. It sucks that it's gone now. From Lauren Nicole, why does Monkey Jones look like Philip DeFranco on HRT? <laughs> I don't know, Lauren. That's a question for a video. Well, I think we need an investigation. I think you need to investigate this and get back to us. We'll watch it on stream. Lifeless loser. Would you ever do a video with uh, Sistinatched? I can't pronounce that name. I could get a message to him if you're interested. Um, Yeah, I wouldn't mind. But... I, I don't know what we do a video about. Like, I watch a lot of people on YouTube, and I'm familiar with a lot of people, but I, I don't do, like, collaborations because I don't know what I'm going to contribute. If you go watch Guru Larry, I did a bit for him in one of his videos where I read a story about monkeys. 
I, I feel bad because all these people put in this effort and they've got all this good sounding audio. Like they have their equipment set up and shit. They're doing good editing. And me, I sound like I'm on some fucking tin can with string, you know, like a string with tin cans and shit. Like it's, it's bad. That's why doing like a straight up podcast wouldn't work with this sound quality. You're like, what is that electric whistling? Jesus Christ, does he live in a fucking uh, wind tunnel? Is he next to a subway train? What is that? Any any audio I send them is just going to be shit. Uh, from Liam Johnson, watch the Chris Chan, Maggie Jan body swap video. Sounds like I've got something for my night. From Dango Italiano, are you going to talk more about Gale? You know, I'd love to get to Gale. But it's like every time, every time there's an opportunity to, some crazy shit happens. From Joshua Moon, reminder, Bitwave is run by a doxer. Uh, from Barso Bialis, I don't know if I pronounced that right, no message, but thank you. Uh, short print gamer, bitwave.tv is extreme community, go there. From Ethan Evanson, people create free platform with good content, tards take power, everyone leaves to make new platform, happen with radio, happen with TV, now it's happening with streaming. Cis white male with extra privilege, I'm going to go do a voiceover for Martin Luther on the Jews and their lies so that people don't have to listen to the robot voice on BitChute. Rocks in my socks, trying to send me a coded message. I'll have to figure this puzzle out on my own. <laughs> From Turbo, don't worry about doing daily or weekly Epstein segments. It's honestly the biggest controversy of my lifetime. Sam Hyde's rip <laughs> Ripstein t-shirts take down two. I'm fascinated by the Epstein shit. From Lily Liver, here's some Taiwanese pomegranates. I feel good that I can actually donate again. Did you ever watch the two best friends play back in the day? Uh, no, not really, actually. From Agent Lennox. Hey, Boomer, stop being Alex Jones' boring grandpa. Only if you pay me more, Agent. You're going to have to at least quadruple that donation before I'm going to take that suggestion up. From Sweet Knee Child. Let's start calling trannies Fistula Americanas. From Green Patches, I or take my money, I will miss you. From Steven Stromboli, let the darkness grow. Kill Harry, join Tank Sinatra on Gas Digital Podcast Network and do your show there. They have a live chat and let anything go. They may even give you some shekels. Oh, I do love my shekels. From V Sniper 64 I only downloaded DLive to watch you. That app is getting dumped ASAP. From Casual Cali, oof. Sean Turner, end the stream with Lindsay's Rape Rap. You know what? That's a good suggestion. We're going to end with that. From Solomon Grunty, only abuse me woman. From Jason Weaver, so glad you're back on YouTube. Thank fuck. Richard Gruber, Publix is selling lemons three for two dollars. Buy real lemons. And Mikrel Morgholm are these lemons in Tiananmen Square. Uh, yeah, that's where they keep them. They keep them under lock and key in Tiananmen Square. Don't want those, don't want those fucking freedom fighters getting the goddamn lemons. Oh, we're going to have some fucking problems if they get a hold of them. Ah, oh, sorry, chat. One second here. I'm just, I'm working my way through. Oh, somebody said Bjorn is live. If you want to, like, put up a, a link, maybe we'll go check it out when we get a chance here. Just let me, let me get caught up on these, because, I, like I said, I like to read them. If you're going to donate, I'm going to read what you said. Uh, we're, we're getting there, chat. Oh, where did I leave off? Uh, right there. From RSS Slayer SR. How old is your dick, Jim? I've been told it's pretty old. Uh, yeah, it's it's ancient. From Real Reasons, Jim, will you go to Mixer, Bitwave, or elsewhere? We crave your steam or, or streams. I don't know where I'm going to go. I, I'm going to look around and find something that works. Underwater Alex Jones, F Bitwave and Docs patch. Stop shilling for honeypots. From James Beatnik, puddings are Massad. That's how they get you. From The Vile Delinquent, the soccer moms have won. They control our entertainment, our politics, and even our private conversations. The soccer moms won in the end. You're not far off. I mean, Reset Era is basically fucking cat ladies. It's pretty much a soccer mom, really. From Merlot Williams. We've missed you on YouTube, boss. Gonna buy one of your hats before you get scrubbed from the internet. Thanks for all the laughs, my dude. Temp 2, I'm already on a list. Aren't we all at this point? Gertie Dinkled. I was on my way to top contributor. Here's some real money. Of course, a little boring without the ninja jet. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I don't get it. I really don't get it. It's it's a weird setup over at DLive. They don't tell you what's going on. You're, you're expected to see it in the chat. They don't email you about shit. You're just wiped out. And again, you watched what we watched over there. I don't know, chat. It didn't seem extreme to me. 
Didn't seem like anything that was uh, really out there. From Daddy Tit, please. Tittle, please. I'm sorry. It's my right as an American to watch a sexual assault if I want to. <laughs> That's what the Clintons fought for. God bless America. That guy says, hi, please notice me, Daddy Jim. Mike Madness, top comment, clean up crew for exile. Bitwave.tv is a future. No Hong Kong blocky blocky. Join us. From Joey Jojo, we should lock Brian Riso in a room with Corrine. Lumberjack Cowboy, take my factory coin goy. From Cloud Rougemont, with all the bannings, I'd suggest making your own stream site, but I don't quite trust you to operate a toaster oven, much less a website, Jimbo. Uh, you've got the right idea. I don't fucking trust me to do it either. From Big Mac LM Obi, do you still hate insane, or insane mind posses, the ICP? I don't know what the fuck they're up to. I, I think one of their kids turned out to be a furry, but that's about the last thing I heard of them. Good Friday. Welcome back, Jim. Here's Money for Smokes. Qui-Gon Jin. Welcome back, you marvelous potato nigger. From Sarah Dragon, we need background checks for streaming. That and an IQ test. These people are such insane narcissists. From Ronson, Jim, you're forgetting about the most obvious conspiracy, Lori McBride. Lori's the one out to get you kicked off of D-Live. Has she come for the Jesuits finally? Is that what's going on? From Kui, I know a guy who tried telling me if a girl's drunk and taking her top off, it's consent. Thoughts? You know this person too. I would say, you know, compare that to the situation there with his pants off. And I'm, I'm wondering now, who, <laughs> who told you this? Oh, t was it Boogie? Are you trying to out Boogie? You can be honest with us, Cooey. It's, this is a safe space. You just drop it for us. From Double O Boogie, Monday Matt was just pranking that 13-year-old. From J.C. McHandsome Face, hey, Jim. Sucks what happened with the Lemon Emperor, but I hope all is going well and it works out for you wherever you go. From Sigil, the NTR tag has gone too far. Furious George, Shadow Slayer X87, check out this guy's kind of cringe. From Jason Mirtz, keep up with those morning streams. Lemons are poison anyway. Read up on that. The Alpha Mong, our father who art in Grafton. Brenton, be thy name. From Inky, Eric's, I love you, Lauren. I promise I'm not gay. Arcade Outpost, Shopify stole Sam Hyde's Epstein shirt money. <laughs> Did they really? From Hook Nose, will having Medicare in my history get me put on a glow-in-the-dark watch list? Yes, it will. Anthony M., my question is, how does this get the ban and the Brent Spiner? My question is, how does this get the ban and the Brent Spiner saga not? Yeah, I don't fucking know. I really don't. That comic book had a dude fucking a cat to death. I don't know how that didn't get us banned. From Fran Pawa, Hillary Killis, sure, exposing furry, get that man off the air. Right? It's very weird. From Gordon Freeman, what is Jade playing? Send her back to the fields and take back your Switch, bro. She's, pray, or she's playing Dragon Quest Builders 2. Liz Reptile, you are a pain in the butt, Jim, because I do sound like Monograph. Hate to admit it, LOL. From Bro Fisser, check out the iFunny Kid getting arrested for LARPing about shooting feds. I actually saw that story a couple days ago. Uh, Neon Goblin, check out Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim. Have a blessed day. From Louis Tomato, hope you're having a better week than I am. Yesterday I sliced off a good chunk of my knuckle while working on my car. Fucking shit. <laughs> How did you manage to pull that off changing the oil? I guess it's the only question I've got. I have questions now. From Justin Blood, mother, uh, mother love me long time. Wonton Hong Kong, wonton Hong Kong. From Mitchell Buchanan, Alpha Genesis on YouTube equals please look it up. From Rube Dog, hey Jim, first time I've been able to catch you live, never trusted D-Live. Can I get your opinion on not Jordan Peterson? Text-to-speech AI? I, I'm unfamiliar with it. Uh, send me, I guess send me a link to it on, or send my good friend, Mr. Antibully, a link to it on Twitter. So I can see what you're talking about. Are you, is that that deep fake one? Is that what we're talking? I, I don't know. Send me a link, I'll check it out. From Mitchell Buchanan, Pedophile Commando Alpha Genesis. From Radio Ruin IRL, not even once. Uh, tangenting Tangerines. Jim, did you go Road Rage Minneapolis last Saturday? Uh, nope, no, I did not. Stabby McStabwood, who's filming the slap fight? Failure. JC Gaming, all, all they're missing is repeating their phone number and calling the police for a stolen iPad. From Commander Douche. Hey, Jim, did you hear about Nintendo patching Chris... Uh, no Isis out of the new Fire Emblem after news of him abusing women got out. Uh, no, actually, I haven't.
Okay. Uh, from Sublin, I've seen the Mumkey sex tape. I couldn't tell which one was Mumkey and which one was Lou until I saw their faces. All right, we've got a handful more chat, and then we'll be uh, we'll be caught up. Rocket and Sato. Jim, if you look closely, you can actually pinpoint the exact moment our heart breaks in two. Slows down video and goes frame by frame. Apple Fritter. Team Blade, press one. From Shane Quigley, what's your thoughts on Mumkey throwing away his life for a leafy is here imposter? I... <laughs> I, you know, I, I remember talking about this with, uh, I think it was Odd Guy on Twitter, saying it was going to end in tears, and surely, uh, what do you know, uh, a day or two later, uh, everything went tits up. From Chris Nunez, can the power of the gut save your D-live streams? From Jormelli, it's not gay if the man doesn't finish inside me. That's life advice. Uh, attempt two, Jim, got to finish. From Mumblez 5 D-live shot my eye. Maggie LSPS, still fed up thing to do, or a fucked up thing to do. These kids are you. Otaku Bullfrog, your hats aren't made in China, are they? I know, I don't know. Maybe they're going to start pelting me with lemons instead of sending me checks. I, I don't know. From Politically Incorrect, Jimmo, can we get a four-star bumper sticker? I, I don't even know if they do bumper stickers. From Nova Zero, capitalized communist lemon hats too, just because. Burned out or burned out nerd must buy hats. Maddox 1000, my friend, you missed your stream in favor of camping. Can you insult him, please? Oh, you missed out on good shit. Now what are you gonna watch? You know what? You should punish your friend. Make him watch the monkey sex tape. Uh, let me see, 65 times if it's 45 seconds long. Make him sit and watch it for an hour. Oh, it'd be even more than that, really. That's a uh, one, two, three. Uh, no, it would have to be 80 times. He needs to watch it 80 times. From Cole Waz, you just passed that communist pig on live trending. From Random Asshole, who won World War II, the good guys or the bad guys? There were no winners. We all lost. If we had just believed in the power of diversity and inclusivity, the world could have held hands and hugged. We could have had a hug off. We just need to go vegan, bro. Okay? We just need to go vegan and hug each other. That's how you save the world. From Trump Nation... BitRave after Jim's stream at bitwave.tv slash M-E-V-E. Bring your puddings. Now from a name I can't pronounce, Space Teeth Girl got drilled out by big boy boobed Bjorn in a morning RV behind a screen curtain. I doubt she is capable of knowing shame. Defense or defense Bjorns rise up. Long live capitalism. Fuck the communists. Hurry up and wait. Chinese come knocking at your door, answering, wearing nothing but a whiskey bottle, waving a machete. You want to take my lemons, commie? Road Boy Club, Jim, Jumbo, Jimbo, Jimbo, Jimmy, Jimbo, take my dolly. From Edward Ramirez, you should listen to YOLO Rhymes, Supply and Demand. From Bagel Goose, the Weeb Whacker, Dango Italiano, I have a name for him, Anime Assassin. Oh, see, that's a good one. SX, or SXS. Will you go on State of Wind or watch more Photon? Yeah, I actually want to go on Dave's stream. He um, emailed me, so I've just got to get back to him. Hopefully, I'll be on uh, his live stream sometime in the next two weeks. We'll see if we can work it out. From Alex Mini 123 I'm Canadian. China's busting our balls, buying a cap. From Christina A., Weeaboo Warrior. No GPS data. The Clinton anime. Johnny Boy, Quick Draw. The Manga, Mangler. See, that's a good one, too. Radio Ruin, The Slaughtering Senpai. Politically incorrect. Boss, can we get a four-star bumper stick? You've asked that one. I, I will take a look if I can. And I'll put up the cheapest bumper sticker I can for you, I guess. Uh, plastic Walnut. When the Chinese give lemons, give them opium. Goat Smith, here's some money. You're funny. Zola Mivulin. Uh, reminds me of South Park Vamp Kids. A bunch of white kids with a loud, obnoxious black guy. From Skitorin, Plexstorm has no filter. Yeah, and that's... I, I was interested in Plexstorm, but they want multiple forms of ID. Uh, Matthew Nittig. Anime killer is Basil... Borutsky, I work long night shifts. I'll watch with a four-hour interrogation. From Nighttime Frontier, link the hats. Uh, the hats are at Teespring. Uh, what is the fucking name? I'll tell you what the address is. Uh, actually, you know what? I think if you go to the About section, it should have a direct link. Yeah, if you go to my uh, channel, my YouTube channel's About section, and look under Links, there'll be one to Teespring, and it'll take you right there if you really want a hat. Uh, from Mythos Irving, you missed my 20. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read them all. If I miss anybody's, I apologize. From Vincent Pisano, not one to pull smoke internet personalities, but been following you since the internet Ariscarat days. Love your content. Uh, great middle ground between black pills and hilarity. Keep it up. 
from Gas Michael. Just started stream. Don't delete. Went over. Uh, usually people re-upload these, but I will. Um, I'm going to try to move it over to Hal's channel because uh, he is so gracious in taking it. If not, I'm sure somebody will upload them here. From S Cyber Taz, 15 minutes of fame, 45 seconds of shame. To quote Nick Riketa, how embarrassing. Choke on a sweaty sausage, Monday Matt, you soy-filled bitch. From Mythos Irving, you will get the knife on, Jim, if you missed that. Or my $20 chat, Jim, you boomer. Again, from the Tar Bomba, I'm going to guess. Agent 19, a monograph whispered poisonous lies about you into Lemon Emperor's undersized Chinese ears. Be careful, Goy. Winnie Chinese Pooh doesn't seem to like you very much. Lorax nerds, rise up. From Foxman2248, all but two of his videos are gone. From, are you talking about Dami? God damn, they took out a lot of shit. From White, Jessica Jarva and Thomas Daly for cutest couple. Love you, Jim. From Tosh, what was the song at the beginning of the stream? Um, I will post a, uh, my good friend will post a link if you want to go uh, check it out. It was just a, a mix of Liberty Prime quotes with like dubstep. American uh, Peshmerger, you were popular on 4chan today, Godspeed. John, Josh rubs, or Josh runs a website and didn't lose his mind. Haberman and Hot Wheels did a little, I guess. Everybody loses their mind. Josh may not have yet, but he will. Low tax has, Moot has, Hiroshima uh, shit has. Like everybody I can think of that had one. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Girl Vinyl. D DeGrippo did. It just seems the longer you run the site, the more people are up your ass. Eventually, you just fucking can't take it anymore. It's like a lot of hassle. I don't want that kind of hassle. I've never seen anybody run a website and be happy about it. Uh, from White Rice, you can super chat from anywhere if you have a VPN. Charles Vaughn Gray. Hi, Jim. I'm looking for something to use as my donator sound for my Twitch channel. So can you say something after this sentence? Can be whatever you say. Charles Van Gray is a pussy. Thank you for the money. The sexual reassignment surgery will be a success. Or how about, how about this one? Charles Van Greer needs money for his dilation station. The gash in between his legs needs to be ripped open. Otherwise, it'll heal over and his boyfriend won't be able to fuck it. I, did those work for you? From Tar Bomba, Blade will never be as hot as a diabetic as uh, Walter Brimley. All right, I think I think we're finally caught up. Let me let's see if I missed any here. Uh, foregone. Jim, listen, two words, bumper stickers. Matthew, now, uh, last chat was a question. Oh, the name of the anime killer. I actually, I don't know. If you check my Twitter, I'll, uh, I'm sorry, my good friend's Twitter, uh, I'll, he will post some links to it. 404, name not found. Interested in doing a video about your history with Medicare, Haberman, etc. <clears throat> sorry. Uh, you're one of my favorite streamers. If yes, at me on Twitter, same name. From Zero Absolute Zero, you know about the woman that wanted white children taken from their parents, starved and molested. I did see that tweet, and she went on private and protected. It reminded me of the Sam Hyde quote, but she was actually literally saying that. From Mythos Irving, sorry for splurging about missed chats. Turns out you really are, or you're really behind. From Gropa, Blade groped Corrine. Search only use me, Blade, grope. Charles Von Gray, a while ago on stream about speed dating, you mentioned a documentary about some dude fisting assholes and started crying, or and he started crying on vid. What was the vid called? I, I have to look the name up. But yes, it's a it's a gay man that runs a uh, escort S and M service, and a documentary filmmaker, right, um, was doing a film about him, and in the middle of the documentary, he had a customer come by, and all you hear are these most horrific slurping and plurping sounds, as he's fist fucking a guy in the dungeon, and when he comes up, he's you know, he fist fucked him with like a buttered up hand, and when he comes up, he like has an emotional breakdown at the fact that this is his life now that he shoves his fist up men's asses to pay his rent. It's it's really dark. From Fergus McLaren, take my shekels, Jim. From Xylon's Archive, I believe Bitwave is open source. Maybe you could talk to somebody with web host experience to host a different instance without the risk of dispatch. The Great Gree Green, thanks for the fun, Chief. Gamers will rise again. Uh, rise up. From Colton Thomas, your laifu for my waifu. From Tar Bamba. Blade will never be as hot. Okay, I, uh, we're finally caught up. Sorry it took so long, chat. I was trying to work my way through them and uh, get to everybody that I could. Uh, Mythos Irving, one last time. Donga gives blowies and alleys for superberries. Anthony Wildman, god damn, I love Israel. 
No GPS data. Uh, Clinton anime killer. All right, Chad. We finally did it. Oh, we made it to the end. Oh, we got a channel. And Charles Van Gray, thanks for the new donation sounds. Much appreciated. Well, I hope they work out well for you. <laughs> I, hope, I hope it's what you dreamed of. Now, somebody suggested the rape rap as the uh, outro song. I think that's I think that fits with the theme of everything that's going on. I'll be honest with you all. One more passing by. Anderson Paladin, how are you liking Iron Fury, my dude? Fucking loving it. Great game. Well worth the money. I've already played like nine hours for 25 bucks. That's a fucking great bargain. From Foxman. Uh, uh, Foxman. Shit. Where'd you go? 2248. Are you going to put out the SS Superman shirt? I, I don't know. But let me uh, let me grab the rape song. Uh, and we'll end with that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Even though Lindsay Ellis is removed, all trade friends and I got together. Okay. Somebody actually clipped it out of the video. So that's perfect. That's perfect. We'll use that for the outro song. Uh, this Friday, we will uh, take a look at the anime killer and see how good that is. And uh, future videos will go up on BitChute. I, I will put up trailer videos on YouTube so you'll know when they're coming. Thanks for coming out. Uh, thanks for the super chats. Hope you had a good time. Sucks DLive didn't work out. What are you going to do? I will find an alternative. Uh, we well, just got to keep on keeping on. Uh, you guys enjoy that monkey sex tape. All 45 seconds of it. Oh, boy. <laughs>